Uh, welcome back to 50 Shades of BS. Uh, happy New Year to everyone. I mean, we took some time off. It's been, a, what, going to be two weeks? Three weeks? Yeah, two, three weeks, yeah. Two, well, three weeks since we've been back. But uh, glad to be back. Hope everyone had good holidays. We had some good times. And uh, starting the new year off right, we got a special guest today. Um, Young Soldier the Realist is here today. Yo, 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 what's popping? So uh, just introduce yourself a little bit. You, you're, so you're a music artist. So, yes. Yeah, music artist. <laughs> When'd you get into music? Man, I've been in music all my life. Um, and originally, originally started in hip hop. You know, uh -huh. um, the name Young Soldier the Realist is because I fight for what I believe in. So you know, just like a soldier goes to war with a gun, I'm going to war with the mic. You okay. feel me? Okay. So it's just like that's right. That's nice. Yeah. And I always fight for what I believe in. So was that always your name? Did it was it always Young Soldier the Realist, or did you add like um, variants? You know, like. Puff Daddy's now Diddy, you know? Did you like? Did you go through that that change? Even though we shouldn't talk about Diddy, but we'll get into that, <laughs> we'll get into that later. Um, yeah, it's, for the most part, it's always been Young Soldier the Realist ever since yeah. I've been doing it like professionally and stuff. So I kept it consistent. And um, even though I'm going to be involved, evolving, you know, I always will keep the same name just due to the fact that you can follow the journey and see how I evolved um, and where I came from and just stick into the roots, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Nice. You got a nice origin. Yeah. So so you've been doing music your whole life, but when did you make your first recording song? Uh, it was back in the early 2000s. Okay. So like 2002. All right. Was it all hyphy? <laughs> We're um, from the Bay. Was it all hyphy? Yeah. We're from the Bay. I, I, I have had some hyphy hits. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, some uh, hyphy bangers where uh, he goes right in the whip in the music video and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know. Partying, you know, has always been my thing. So, you know, I'm always at yeah. the party scene. Doing the thizzle dance and everything back in the 2000s, huh? So yeah. you said you started with hip hop. Have you evolved into a different type of music? Yeah, now it's more. along the lines of like EDM, like okay. party dance music and stuff like that. Um, and then More now, with the beat and everything. More yeah. The lyrics. Yeah, and yeah. now it's going to be going into a, a different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and so this is my last, next month is my last hip hop album, actually. My oh, last nice. rap album. Nice. And then I'm going to be just leaving the genre entirely. And just starting a whole new leaf. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Right, to quote your favorite artist, 50 Cent, switch your style. Huh? Oh, yeah. Just amount of palette. That's true. That is true. And everybody. Even the Kanye okay, West. Okay, like. How he switched it up. How, how did he specifically switch it, though? Who, Kanye? No, 50. No, no. He told Kanye that in the. Uh, well, now 50 switched it up by going into movies now. Okay, yeah, yeah. So when we met, we met him at the concert. I mean, we met at his last concert, like, yeah, yeah. tour. Uh -huh. So now he's going strictly to mo movies. He's and producing. Yeah, he bought a whole studio and everything. So, yeah, he's he's out of it. And what do you think is the best power series? Oh, oh, uh, oh for Tommy. me. I like he Tommy. He likes Tommy. Um, I'm not lie. I like, I like season four. one a lot. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, book one, but I kind of like book two. As yeah. well, yeah, but Ghost, right? Yeah, yeah, Ghost, yeah. yeah. I think that one was fire. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the sun, that one was fire, bro. I like, uh, yeah, I, I like Tommy though. Tommy's my favorite character. He yeah, just, Tommy's dope. He's fucking just a wild card, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets and, better. And, and Raising Canaan was pretty fucking dope too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really like Raising Canaan. You, you didn't like Young Fifty? Uh, I I didn't. I didn't, and I wanted <laughs> to, kidding. and I tried to, but it just. It's better than Tyreek. <laughs> I think so. You don't like the Tyreek thing? I like Tyreek, bro. No, I don't like Tyreek. I don't uh, like Tyreek. I don't like Dude, Tariq. I was waiting on uh, Raising Canaan to see a young ghost and a young Tommy to pop up, you know, but maybe the, in the new season they might pop up, you know, because... Oh, yeah, right, they right. renewed it for season five, up to season five, I think. And then I read somewhere the rumors that they want to start a book, uh, a book five uh, following that uh, politician, dude. Oh, yeah. But I heard that that one was canceled. Uh, I, my, Is that still going on? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I haven't looked into it. Uh -huh. But yeah, That'd be 50 pretty... killed it in the movie. I mean, yeah, he's he's and I forgot what rapper said it, but he was talking to a uh, rapper came out and talked about it on a podcast saying, like, you know, the crazy thing 50 told me about this TV shit at, right after he came out with Get Rich or Die Trying and said, Oh, that's what I really want to do. I'm going to kill it when I get to that. And fuck, he spoke it into existence. You know, yeah, he uh -huh. fucking look at him. We watch all the shows. Yep. I mean, even his enemies watch his show, <laughs> you know? Everyone that he be, maybe not Jai, but everyone else watches his shows. <laughs> <laughs> Jai will never, never watch. <laughs> oh, man. I heard he just signed like a $100 million deal or something that was. Who? Uh, they said Ja Rule. Oh, shit. He must have sold his uh, uh, collection, his fucking uh, full catalog of songs. 
That's what Lil Wayne did right before he got locked up. Sold his whole catalog to uh, Columbia, I think, or whatever. Sold all the songs. And you heard you heard uh, BG dissing Lil Wayne? No, no. That shit's crazy. He called. He called. Are we allowed to cuss on this show? Yeah, yeah. Go for he it. called him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see Little Wayne respond. Wayne CF. <laughs> and that's crazy because um like they started up together, you know, in the hot boys. So I'm wondering what's the beef about and then BG is being backed by Birdman right now, so Yeah, but they always had their little conflict of interest all the time. Mm-hmm. Birdman and him fucking they have their fucking I'm, I'm wondering family if Bird, drama. If Birdman is ain't like, you know, feeling that beef. Yeah, like Wayne coming out, drop this motherfucker. What the fuck? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knows? I mean they got all, yeah, that in, I mean, music industry fucking shady. <laughs> I feel like you see people go, I mean, every rap group broke up. There's right, no, right. I mean, your favorite rap group, LMFL, what happened to them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were a good one. They, hey, they right. did slabber. Every song they did was a slabber. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, everyone falls apart here and there. And what, what was the reason that they broke up, actually? I have no clue. I was locked up at the time. I'm just, I would <laughs> get the night radio and they'd be on. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then uh, who else broke up? Um, Macklemore and Ray, or Ray Lewis. Uh, <laughs> Ray Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Macklemore and uh, what's his name? They broke up because Macklemore got into drugs and everything. So that was another duo. That was decent. Uh, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> Insane. But yeah, yeah, I, I, like the Migos. Migos. Well, that's different. But yeah. No rap before. Yeah, yeah. The G Unit too. G Unit fucking broke up pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, we all know who started that, but I'll keep that opinion to myself. We can dig deep into that another time on personal time. So who's the artist that you make music that you would love to do a song with? Other than Vert. Um as far as collaborating with my yeah. type of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My type of music, I think Or even before you you're switching genres, like when you um, were... So uh I, I would really like to collaborate with pitbull pitbull mr yeah. worldwide yeah i think that would be a good collaboration um me and flow rider i think would be a great collaboration um and i would really f- you know my music fits well with those playlists you know what i'm saying yeah mm-hmm. well, that is yeah makes sense yeah so speaking of your place you got a new song dropping yes tmfd the <laughs> yeah. remix is going down and that releases well tech, uh friday what day is it come up um january 13th so, that, so yeah. back to your music video that you're dropping that's a song you've already recorded and you just so, so it's yeah. a remix right and it's then, a remix so the audio is already out correct the it's audio the so the audio is out for the original right but okay the remix comes with the new album and the oh, new okay. album drops next month okay. which is going down it's the last rap album i'm leaving the genre um what is it called do you have a name for it or is it secretive i mean i Do guess we, we can release it, we can release it. <laughs> yeah we can give you can give you your exclusive it's called realistically speaking okay nice yeah, nice yeah. and it's it's a playoff young soldier the realist so realistically speaking just spelled like that you know what i mean yeah like how realist yeah after realist oh yeah, fuck so. yeah that's dope and that's uh and that's a world 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 premiere <laughs> <laughs> Got it going. Uh, so that's your what album? What album is this that you're releasing? Like number wise. What how, number wise? Yeah, yeah. Um, how many have you done prior? Sorry. Five. Damn. Six, five. This is going to be. This is gonna be my eighth album, actually. Eight. Yeah. Eight in the. Damn. Yeah. So do you? Is this? Do you try to release release one every year? You take a year off? Like how do you? Or um, trying to release two a year, three a year. I don't know. I'm not in the. You know, I don't go and I don't dabble in that. I just know a lot of people in the industry, and they all, they're all different, right? Some like uh, Savvy has a release album this last year, and he's releasing two albums this year. So like, yeah, so shit. I have I have a total of eight albums, but only four of them are on DSPs. So like Spotify's, and yeah. YouTube, yeah. Um, and the other albums were like, you know, in the era before it was like so popular and stuff like that. We got a CD not too long ago in New York, a rave, remember? Oh, yeah. And we went to a rave and they fucking, the DJ gave us his CD, oh, gave us fine. three different CDs, right? It was yeah. three? Yeah. I had them in my backpack for the longest time. We forgot all about I, I, them. I still got them in my car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, 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 and you know, uh, like for limited edition type things, pushing those out too is, is also cool because you could sign them, people yeah. can keep them. And you know, post them up on the walls and yeah. stuff like. Well, that. I feel like, like records this. are coming back. Re- a lot I of do, but are- how many people have record players? Is what I want to know. Yeah, I don't know if they listen to them. Or they just they're yeah, just yeah. keeping they're- them just like as 
yeah. souvenirs type. So thing. I have I have a record player, but I want to play this on there. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm a big old. I like classical music. Like I like I love Sinatra. I love the Rat Pack, and everyone trips out, but that's my favorite because I love smoking cigars. So I'll fucking yeah, play yeah. that shit, smoke, and it's a it's a good time. It's a good yeah. time. <laughs> it's like he's in a mob. Yeah, I think that was my past life. I had to be. <laughs> I want to say I was a mob boss, but I was right there. <laughs> I might have been the accountant. You never know. Just fucking right there with the fun people. I feel like the world hasn't really heard like my me to my fullest potential. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And just like, you know, a character in Batman plays Batman for a con like consecutive amount of sh shows. And then yeah. after that, he's like, okay, I want to move on to something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't want to be known as Batman for the rest yeah. of his life. It's like so, Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to be Iron Man because so that's that's Hugh part Jackman. of the reason yeah. why I'm I'm leaving yeah. um, the hip hop genre. You're because, over because yeah. You're, I mean, I feel like I said what I needed to say in it. You do I what feel you like did. I'm more than that. I, I don't. I'm so much more than that. I can bring so much more to the table. Uh, I feel like you know the emotions and stuff that we go through isn't only limited to one genre. Yeah, I feel like I, that can be expressed in multiple, especially when you're a talented artist becoming an icon you know what yeah I'm saying? so this is all historic moments right now yeah and um so yeah with that being said my next uh move is going to be in punk pop and the punk pop genre. Did, did you ever think about like country or something fucking latin anything wild like that when um, you're making your change or was it you already kind of knew you're gonna do the what i what i really felt punk. was in my heart was punk pop and that's okay. what i really vibe with uh -huh. and you could see like with the spikes and all that shit yeah yeah, yeah. No, I, you definitely swagged out brother <laughs> yeah thank you, thank you yeah you I, gotta I get mean. the old school belts the fucking <laughs> studs yeah the stud ones fucking yeah i do have those uh, see yeah, that, was back <laughs> of, that was 08 07 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a uh, hot topic yeah uh -huh. so you, you, you fell in love back with hot topic I mean, Even though it's lit up now, it's not all fucking dark and doomy in there no more. <laughs> they changed with the times. <laughs> they changed with the times. <laughs> they had to make adjustments. They though. did. I mean, everyone did. Just, you know, yeah. you know just adapt. But even then, I it, most of these places are going to shut down. How often do you actually go to stores now? I right. still I still go in there, you know, especially for like, you know, if you want to look for jeans or something, you could try it on. You don't have to like, when you're ordering it online, you're not but once sure. You, but once you find it, how often do you go back in? I'll just order online. I already know what I wear. This is my size, right? That's true. But yeah. I still I still like to go into stores and actually look around because then you can feel it, touch it, you know. Yeah. Smell That's it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's... I mean, I'm just all online now. Right? Yeah? You don't even go into stores at all? I try not to. I don't, yeah. I don't care for it. It's too time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> it's too time consuming. But I mean, the whole hassle, like yeah. it doesn't fit. You got to send it back, wait like a week and a half. Well, hey, now stores, like, some of the stores don't even want it sent back. They just refund you because it's cheaper for them just to discard it. Be like, yeah, keep it. Here's your refund. Oh, shit. It, yeah, so I know, like, Target's doing that with almost all their products now. They're starting, they're changing their policy where, ah, fuck it, we don't need to restock it if it's over a certain price. Damn. Just to keep it because they're, so how'd you, <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> you actually went to the show and everything? You went to the award show and everything too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, the BT was, yeah, yeah. That was, that was fire. Yeah. Just where you kind of I, I went consecutively like every year after that. And mm -hmm. um, it was a hell of an experience. I mean, from getting invited and sitting next to like some of the artists that you've like looked up to in the game yeah, and, yeah. and being able to rub shoulders with them and seeing Rihanna sit right there and Rick Ross right there. It's just crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's something that you were a little the first time, and then you're like, oh, no, bro, <laughs> that's the crazy thing. I wasn't because it, I felt like that was my natural environment. Like, that's where I was supposed to be. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you're you know part I mean? of it. Yeah. Yeah. So when I talked to them and stuff like that, they were they were cool. But there was a couple cats that kind of, like, surprised me because, yeah. you know, they kind of felt like they're kind of better. You know? What yeah, I mean? yeah. They had that ego on their, they got the chip on the shoulder. And everything. Yeah. And it's just crazy. It's like you would think that uh, they would be more humble. But you know, I, don't, I know a lot of people, some very unhumble people. I'm like, oh, you guys are dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But half the people you know who we saw last week, Gummy. <laughs> we saw Black Eyed Peas in. Uh, oh yeah, we want to go see Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> yeah, uh, where? Up in Sacramento. Sacramento. Or? Thunder Valley, Lincoln. Oh, they're headlining. Yeah, they did a whole show. It was just them. Yeah. Damn. They're on tour right now, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was different. I mean, I wish they didn't. Yeah, it I met was, two. I met two of them actually. Uh, Will I am. Okay. And then the other dude. Um, the other uh, short one? The, the Filipino? Hispanic or the, the Filipino, Filipino dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's funny. 
Yeah, so the the only thing I had to say about their show is they did a lot of storytelling and talking, and then they it was cool, but I wish they would have done all their hits and then talked and did all that. But they fucking did a hit, talked, BS, whatever, did da da da. Like and, Kanye rants? No, they were just talking about like the evolution of them and how they barely coming back on tour. You know, talking about how they replaced Fergie and all this shit. Uh huh. And then at the end, they sing, they mash like fucking ten songs in like two minutes or three minutes. So why did they replace Fergie? For, I think Fergie left. Yeah, she went and did her own thing. Yeah, Fergie she, left. She, she, uh, she dropped an album like in 2010 and never that, came that, back. That was it. Yeah. It was her. Their new artist is the chick that replaced her. <laughs> it's bad. She's good. Hey, she has a hell of a voice on her too. They let her go. Fucking. So they personal. they uh, she stopped her career with the Fergalicious. Is that when? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the album. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think so. Will she have kids and? Just I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she's made anything not too recent that I know. I don't know what she, when I tried looking her up, I forgot what she was into. Yeah, yeah, yeah you you looked it up when we we're fucking at the casino. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys win big at the casino? No, nah, I didn't even get. Nah, it. I lost. Nah, I, fucking, I was out of it. It was a bad day. Huh? It was a bad day. Yeah. Our, our buddies stayed there all night and morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, damn, like, why even be an artist if you can't even write your own shit? Right. At that point. But I'm a songwriter and yeah. an artist, so, and I know some people don't songwrite. So. Yeah, that's true. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Savvy, he wants to go just to songwriting. He's kind of, even though he makes really good music, he's like, oh, I don't know. I, he, I always yell at him for it, but I was like, dude, just stick to what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. At the end of the day, you know, the real will always outshine the fakes. So. That's true. That's true. Your time will come, brother. Yeah. It's coming now. Yeah, man. It's yeah. starting to build up. And then especially with this new album that's coming out, yeah. it's cool. And you I'm, you know, closing one door and this next door is opening. You yeah. know what I mean? You got a song named Ditto on there? <laughs> <laughs> just diss all the ones that took your songs and just put your clips. You know, that's a good idea. <laughs> right? I'm saying you, you still got time. <laughs> <laughs> put it on the... Uh, the diamond release or the fucking extra release. <laughs> I know, and the bonus. Yeah, yeah, the bonus, the content, yeah. Bonus track. See, and then just make a little. Yeah, it's just, it's it's fucked up, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just frustrating, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, because you do all that hard work and you don't get recognized and these motherfuckers already been recognized and they're just building on theirs. Right. They're but I mean, it, it established. at the same time too. But, you know, like, there's people that don't have albums like Sage the Gemini. He only has fucking six songs and they're all fucking bangers. <laughs> You right. don't have any album? No, it's just it's all singles. Sage Gemini has never released an album; it's all singles. That's crazy. Yeah, just jazz fiddle. <laughs> yeah, shake it like a red nose, dude. Everything. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, if you look up his thing, it's only singles. He doesn't have an album. I don't know. He might be on mixtape, but yeah, Sage Gemini is one of the people that just it's all. He releases one hit at a time, and that's it. I don't think he's released anything else. Damn. But yeah, what do you think about Kanye West? Uh, he's. Uh, I got a soft spot for him. I mean, he outsold 50 one time, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's different. I mean, let him, let him be Kanye. I mean, that's his choice, right? I mean, mm -hmm. if he feels like he needs to do it, he's got to do it. Maybe he should be on medication. Maybe he shouldn't, but that's his choice, right? Right. So, I mean, he's always talked about his mental health and everything and, but his whole church going all to him, right? But Yeah. It's more of a cult in my eyes, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> like don't drink the Kool Aid kind of shit he's got going on over there. But who knows? Uh -huh. He's a he's a wild man. Would you would you ever be serious with a woman who has a big OnlyFans? Fuck yeah, what the fuck. You're not tripping. Stay at home, dad. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> you can look all you want. You can't touch. <laughs> what you know? What? I got the photographer for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I got the photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone's got the same shit. So I'm just you know. Mm -hmm. That's how I always learned it. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so what's the big deal? Yeah, whatever. Fuck, I might star in there a few times. You know, some people are like, oh, I don't want you seeing my woman. You know, I don't yeah. want you seeing that shit. Uh, those like, fuck it, look. <laughs> Pay for it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you know uh, she's... Yeah, as long as you know she's faithful, you're fine, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't date like a porn star, what you're asking. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what about a stripper? You know... Well, sure didn't lie. <laughs> um, you know, maybe. 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 If I knew there was no extracurricular activity after hours, make that money. As long as she's okay with me just being stay-at-home dad, fuck it. <laughs> Let me be the trophy husband. I'll pick you we up. Don't, we don't talk about that enough these days. <laughs> Everyone wants to be a trophy wife. What about trophy husbands? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, go make that bread. Go make that equal equality and more. <laughs> I heard that. See, I mean, that's a real good point. So, what do you think? I'll pick you up at two in the morning. <laughs> nah, I'll be outside waiting for yeah. your girl. <laughs> I'll be outside waiting. <laughs> <laughs> the drive first little driver with dinner no. yeah yeah oh the t- <laughs> with dinner <laughs> straight stay at home dad bro. yeah right what do you need <laughs> <laughs> all right kids, i'll be right back i gotta go pick up your mom <laughs> <laughs> how much did we, we make today yeah <laughs> fuck you see i mean no one talks about being a trophy that's true that's <laughs> a trophy <laughs> yeah i just but you know you gotta you gotta be manly enough to accept not the work <laughs> Right, I mean, I'd go crazy. Right, yeah. or you know, knowing that you're spending someone else's money. Well, I mean, I don't mind that part, but yeah. <laughs> what about yeah. crypto? Are you into crypto? Nah, no, 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 no. I don't touch it. You don't fuck with it at all. Mm-mm. I don't. Yeah, I don't touch it either. <laughs> no, nah. I'm um, OG cash. Cash, my, cash in my sock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cash is king, dude. Cash is king. Yeah, I don't. I don't dabble in it. I don't. I don't care for crypto. I don't really do stocks. Um, I'm not a jewelry person either. I don't chains, watches, nothing. Nah. I think that's just how I grew up. My dad doesn't wear nothing. I, you know, fuck. My dad didn't even wear his wedding ring. For, I mean, because he works. You know, he works yeah. with his aunt. Can't wear it. So I never, I never saw him wear jewelry. But my grandpa, on the hands all fucking iced out. Damn. Ninety years old, all fucking gold, everything. Yeah. Gold pinky ring, gold chain, gold. Yeah, he's got it all. He's got it all. How oh, my dad is, he likes to floss. I'm like, dude, you're going to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah. shit behind, bro. Yeah, they'll take it. They'll <laughs> fucking take it. They'll melt it down, too, real quick. What about, okay, I want to dive into something else that's uh, okay. totally different. What about paranormal experiences? Like, have you ever ha- seen any paranormal activity? Yes, my house is haunted. Fuck, okay, you got it. You got to share. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's haunted by, like, a little, like, 12-year-old girl, I'm pretty sure. She died back in the 1800s in those orchards. So, yeah. like, at night you just hear, like... Oh, yeah, she and... runs up and down the stairs. You could hear her fucking... What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not so used to it now. Just So you just th- ignore it? Yeah. I thought that was Tink. <laughs> no, Tink's not sleep snoring. <laughs> no, yeah, I did. I mean, I'm used to it now, but I've seen some creepy shit. Like, what creepy shit? Like, I've seen her. Like, she fucking looks creepy. What? Like, and was she, like, see-through? Like, they see, like, they show in movies and shit? Yeah, like you could see like transparent kind of, but dark enough. To, yeah, she like glue, like glue. I mean, glowed. <laughs> wow. Like like you didn't grab her. Yeah, I knew I could grab her. She looked fucking. Did she just sketch. look at you? More like you know the ring status. Yeah, that's how she looked. Like in a white, dirty. Yeah, it was crazy. And what'd you do? You just stared at. Her? I fucking was so scared. I just didn't do nothing. I couldn't move. I was so scared. When you get that scared, you'll understand. Where you get so scared, you, your body like doesn't react. Deer in headlights. Yeah, I couldn't even scream, yell, none of that. <laughs> How long was it there? Like fucking probably thirty seconds to a minute. She just stared at you. Yeah, and just and then just end up walking out my room. This is when I was like twelve. Damn. Yeah, I remember. I'm never staying at your house ever <laughs> again, bro. She only picks on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a dick. Yeah, you're right. He'd be all scared. <laughs> yeah, my buddy uh, David. Uh, he used to not uh, believe in ghosts, and he's always used to talking shit. He's like, "Your house ain't haunted." Your house. He's like, "David, dude, just calm down, dude. She's gonna, she's gonna fucking piss you off. You're gonna piss her off one day. Whatever, ghosts aren't real." And then one day we're leaving, we're walking downstairs, and I'm fucking here, and he's where Monk's at right now, and he fucking jumps back. Why the fuck? And I was like, "What? You fucking with me?" I was like, "Dude, I'm right here. What?" He's like, "You just pinched me." I was like. Do you not see where I'm at? I'm not even fucking close enough to pinch you. I was like, I got T-Rex arms. First of all, how am I going to fucking reach you? You would hear my fat ass run over there. And he's like, no, 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 no. This can't be real. This can't be real. I was like, bro, I told you not to be fucking talking shit. And then, yeah. he And he was talking shit in the house? Yeah. And then when he was leaving, he got a little pinch goodbye. Fuck. She's like, take that, motherfucker. Yeah. In his little back. He's like, ah. <laughs> but I, I saw him like react right so uh-huh. I was like what the fuck <laughs> and then yeah ever since then yeah he he, he used to not go down so he's like come meet a smoke outside come on <laughs> I don't want to go downstairs by myself yeah he was a big old no wonder I guy. got like that weird feeling last time I had to go upstairs I'm like fuck dude by myself this is sketch bro so she only stays upstairs no she runs through the whole house the property actually some of the neighbors too they, we've all she hunts that whole court. It's not just my house. It's like Damn. 
Like they, she wanders off, and yeah, all my neighbors talked about it. And it's the same. Mm-hmm. Wow. So yeah, she she knows she's intelligent. She knows she's dead. Uh huh. So yeah, it's creepy. Does she slam doors? Not really. She opens them. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and they slow. It's all. My all my doors fucking creak too. So. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What about you? Have you experienced anything? Uh, nothing here. But in Mexico, one time I kind of experienced a little something. Um, they were just saying how um, this old lady used to own half of my grandma's block. Uh-huh. When she died, she gave uh, all her kids a house on the block, <laughs> and she just haunts all the all the houses she owned because <laughs> they're still hers. She's yeah, like, she's not fucking. And, that, and then she used to do black magic, I guess, or palm readings and stuff like that Damn. before she died. So um, that day they were telling me all these ghost stories inside the cul-de-sac, right? <laughs> Well, that day there's a blackout and just a fucking cul-de-sac. Nowhere else in the city. <laughs> oh, I was shit. like, this is some bullshit, bro. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm fucking going home yeah, tomorrow morning. Dude. Fuck this. I'm hey, so then in Mexico, I don't know if you've ever been over there, but the houses are like... Like in Frisco, they're, your neighbors, you share walls with your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, so there's no windows if you're in the middle house, right? You don't have side windows in the back. There's no... Your only windows is in the front. Because mm-hmm. in the back, there's more houses behind you. So I was standing in this bottom, the bottom room in the back corner... There's no sunlight there. That's downstairs. There's a little uh, Jesus that glowed in the dark. Uh huh. We had a men home all day, dude. And that shit was freaking like for the light to, you know, yeah. let it glow. It was yeah, just, dude, it, it was glowing so lighting. crazy, bro. I was like, oh, what the fuck? I've never seen it glow <laughs> like that. Like a beam of light was shining? <laughs> no, it's a glow in the dark, uh, like a crucifix oh, with Jesus oh, yeah, on it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But, so, you know, like glow in the dark has to get sunlight to, for it to work or light. It has to be fucking in the sunlight for so long. Damn. Yeah, bro. And the shit was just like, there's no light that goes in this place, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I walked in and I should just glow. And I'm like, ah, oh, dude, he's on my side, I guess. And I... Thank you, good Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cross your fingers like that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was. I just. What tripped me out was the whole blackout just in the cul-de-sac, nowhere else in the fucking city. When we're talking about that shit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, just a bunch of people sit there that uh, they've seen her before. The lady pop up and shit. And you've seen her too, right? I didn't see her. You oh. know, I I stayed at my aunt's the rest of the week. I ain't going back to my grandma's. Damn. <laughs> I ain't going back to my grandma's. <laughs> Your grandma's like, why don't you come and visit? I used to be scared, bro. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. I ain't going over there. Fuck. I ain't going over there. I love scary movies, but then I get all scared after, like, remember Carrie? Her hand comes out and grabs you at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was with all the blood, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I would always be all scared. Like, she's going to pop out and just grab me out of nowhere. I'd be scared to take a shit. I'm like, she's going to grab me from the toilet or some shit, bro. Like, I get scared. Damn. I get scared. I wouldn't be able to freeze like you. I'd be running like. I don't think you've been scared enough. So, what's the butt. most scariest movie of all time? For me, the original Paranormal, dude. That one when they first came out. Yeah, dude, yeah, that one was that good. That fuck me. And the original fucking Exorcist. I can't watch that one. I can't watch that. I, shit. I like her when she's walking up. <laughs> yeah, upside down. That. I know. For me, it was The Ring, bro. Probably The Ring, the first one. But you know, it was good to have you. I mean, Definitely. haven't seen you in a while. Good. You know, we always have good times together. Of course. Uh, but we got to go out soon again. Fucking your release party. Call us. We'll be there. Definitely, okay. man. And but, definitely uh, look out for TMFD, the remix. New uh-huh. album coming this soon. Friday. Realistically speaking, next month it's going down. Young Soldier, the realist. Young Soldier dot com, and find your boy on Young Soldier. At Young Soldier Wild U N G S O U L J A on the Instagram. Nice, nice. All right, we'll catch you guys next week. That's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. When they ask me why I did it, cause that's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. When they ask me why I did it, cause that's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. When they ask me why I did it, cause that's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. That's my fucking dog. When they ask me why I did it, cause that's my fucking dog.